He's got stacked to his left. Still going here, Sammy. Can he get a shot off? Cornish hits it. That's going to be a banger, I think. Right, 16 hits it low. Looks down the line for Matty Waldridge. He's made a forward run. Luke's in the box. Sacks on the edge. Finds him. Hits got it. to back and no time to lag. Up the tags. All right, guys, how you doing? Welcome back to another Hashtag United game. We're away here at the home of Bromley FC, but it's Cray Wanderers that the opposition, just like us, they ground share. Uh, it's lovely ground, by the way. Really nice place to be. But we want to make it a good place for Hashtag fans to be tonight with an away win. Uh, they are a little bit lower than us in the league table. You can see we're a few points above them. We want it to stay that way. We did beat them at our place earlier in the season, although they did get a red card in that game, which certainly helped us get that 1-0 victory. It'd be easy to think there's not much to play for if you look at the two teams position in the league but let's not forget we have a big cup final coming up there's places up for grabs so I'm hoping our boys will be motivated to put in a, a big performance tonight but not the only cup final coming up as well let's not forget the women also have an Essex Cup County Cup final just round the corner we could still have two more trophies to come this season which would be fantastic if you can get to either game please do the women's final has been played at Dagman and Redbridge uh, next week actually and obviously the men's finals the week after that's being played at Averley where we're moving to next year of course against Chatham so lots still to look forward to this season. And I haven't even mentioned TST in America in June. Potential chance at a million dollars. And by the way, it's just been announced today. Sergio Aguero is taking a team to TST. He's playing. We already know Balotelli's playing. Nani's playing. I'm told there's some big teams still to be announced. We could play against any or all of them in North Carolina in a few months' time. So it could be a cracking summer. Right, let's take a look at the team that Devs is sending out to battle. In goal is Josh Strizovic in defence. Tom Anderson comes back in. He partners Harry Hayson at centre-back. Matty Waldridge at right-back. Nathan Smith at left-back. In midfield, we have PK Humble, Max Cornhill and Sam Cornish linking up with the cornfield there. We've got Sakasan on the left. Pedro Carvalho on the right. Luke Mayparra up front. Meaning on the bench, we have Toby Romolaren, Camilo Estrepo, Greg Halford, Misha Jamali and Alex Tenyola up the tags. Um, you've seen the side... Uh, every, every single person on the bench or not even on the bench has got a uh, good reason to feel hard done by tonight. Um, we're really at a stage of a season where I'm, I'm picking sides based on games, how I think, based on the squad, utilising the squad, and I'll continue to do that over the, over the rest of the season. Tonight, I want us to carry on with the same energy that we've had. I want us to end on a high. We're playing a side with a lot of experience, probably underachieved, but will be capable of being a threat. If we can force them to go long, then they haven't got loads of legs running beyond that. Then it's just go and be really bright and do what we do best in terms of getting the ball into wide areas and creating overloads. Go, come on. And we're underway here, home team with the kickoff. Cray Wanderers in the yellow and black. The Wands, as they're known, the Wanderers. But it's Hashtag who've wandered from Essex to South London here. Kent, if you will, in the uh, the white, blue and claret. Up the tags, let's get three points on the road. Come on. Are oh, we having a break, I think, for players to break their fast, is it? Maybe a sack. Yeah, just sack. Maybe one sack's of down well. here, to be fair. Is that what he's doing, though? Look, he's having some energy tablets. I think I would I like assume that. so, yeah. Yeah, Sack is obviously celebrating Ramadan at the moment and uh, isn't able to take anything on liquids-wise until a certain time based on the sun going down. So very good that he's been allowed to observe that. I'm not sure if any of the Cray players are doing it or if it's just for Sack, but fair play to him. Appreciate that. And watch Sack now turn into an absolute beast. Good run in here from Sack. Another ball into the big man up front. Got options to his right. He fancies it himself, maybe. Does eventually play it over to Morongi. Keeps it in. Two of them on him. Good pass into the box. Great first touch. Hayson gets it off for a throw. Fantastic challenge there from H. Had to be careful to watch the ball as well. Matty's come in a lot on the ball, though. Yeah, it's interesting. Cornish. He's got sacked to his left. Still going here, Sammy. Can he get a shot off? Cornish hits it. Low. Forces the save. And of all people, Nathan Smith was the furthest forward for the follow-up. Yeah, on the right-hand side of the pitch as well. But what a run from Sam Cornish and a decent effort as well, forcing the good save. Nice pass in the middle here. Cray trying to get forward. Moonge on the ball. Oh, it's a poor pass. PK will cut it out, but it doesn't hold on to it. Gives it back to Moonge. Fast feet. Goes. Oh, I'm not sure about that. He's gone down a little bit theatrically for my liking. There might have been something in it, but I didn't like the way he went down. It's a nice distance, isn't it, to just bang one? Yeah, it's, it's the perfect up and over distance, really, isn't it? 
Come on, Who's it going to be? Is it? It's going to be a banger, I think. No, 16 hits it low. Oh, my God. Did he get a hand to that? No, I don't think he did, but I think it hit the post. Oh, wow. No short corner. Tom Beer's going to take this one. Standing it up around the penalty spot. Good jump from Cornhill to get rid. And now can we counter with Pedro? He's got a sack beyond him, but it's going to be hard for him to find him from there. Nathan Smith once again busting a gut to support the attack. Pedro has Luke down the line. Finds him. Who's in the box? Luke tries to cross. Doesn't find Max. Oh, Nathan keeps it alive. Yeah, he did really well there, Nathan. Getting up high to win the header. He almost came from nowhere as well, a few yards away. Uh, never scoring from that. Cornish gets it on the turn. Looks down the line for Matty Waldridge. He's made a forward run. Luke's in the box. Sacks on the edge. Finds him. Hits it. That's a goal. And hashtag take the lead. And it's our Somali star boy with the finish. Oh, the Somali star boy providing the finish. It's another goal for him. But what an absolutely sumptuous move. Beautiful football. Free flowing stuff. Cuts it back to Sack in absolutely acres of space to put the finishing touches on a very, very nice move and put the tags 1 0 up, Sven. Yeah, Matty Waldridge with the vision to pick out Sack. Cornish starting the move with that, shall we call it, a pre assist pass to play, a marauding Matty Waldridge, and we are in the lead in South London. Brilliant. Coming forward here. Ball forward from Tom Beer over to the left. Controlled by Josh Hallard. He's got a bit of pace about him, Josh. Waldridge on him, all over him like a rash, but Hallard gets away. Back to the left back, cuts inside for David Ajaha. Gets it to Beer. Is he onside here? He's in the box, he's through, puts it across. Wow. Striker will be annoyed he didn't get there, but I think Hasem did. Yeah, absolutely phenomenal defending. If he did get a touch on that, hates to just take it away from the, uh, the forward. I think PK... A little bit lucky there, maybe, with a late challenge. Or if he did get the ball, then that's why the player was onside. Nathan, has he got options? PK. Into Luke. Has to use a bit of strength to get it back to PK, which he does. Little one-two. PK, could he shoot from here? Picks out Pedro instead. Brilliant ball. Can he find someone in a hashtag shirt? Got to be a corner. The way we're linking up is giving me sort of Billericay vibes. You know that day? Not, few weeks not ago. Billy Ricky, us. Against the way them. we played yeah, against them, so it was good. very similar to this. Lots of extra passes, enjoyable. Corner coming in low, interestingly. Did that a few times on, on Monday, to be fair, so I don't think that's accidental. Cornish to Carvalho. Cuts back, left foot, could do it. Does do it. Oh, Picks out ball. Sack, who's a danger man. I love this man in the box. Things happen when he gets in this area. Sometimes it's a goal kick. <laughs> Cornish, PK's calling for it, but he picks out Cornhill instead. Really confident, comfortable stuff in possession from the tags at the minute. Pedro to Matty, he's been everywhere tonight. Pops it back to Luke, he's wide right. Cornhill's taking on the target man role in the box right now, if they can get it into him. PK. It's Pedro. No, it's Pedro, isn't it? I should know that, he's not got the gloves on. Cornhill, oh what word. a flick that is to Luke May Parrot. Off to PK. Oh, he's sat the keeper down. Oh, you've got to shoot at some point, PK. I oh, want a save. Oh, another save. What a save. Two sensational saves there from Sean Rowley, but should we have scored, Eddie? Yeah, definitely. Take a bow to the keeper, but Max Cornhill in the build-up with a flick and a half to set it up. PK, I thought he'd done absolutely brilliantly to sidestep the challenge and sit the goalkeeper down, just anticipating a shot from PK, but it never really came, did it? Brilliant from Luca. That's a missed opportunity there to go 2 0 up for sure. But we're doing good stuff. We're playing good football here. Pedro back on the ball. Luke not, not having to stay as the target striker because Cornhill is filling in that role. Pedro, meanwhile, has left his man for dead. He's in the box now. Tries to get it across the sack. Would have been a second of the game, but it's been deflected. Oh, Pedro Carvalho whipping out all the skills and all the footwork to get past players, leaving him for dead. Sets it back for Sack, and it's a really, really important block. Oh, wow. It was in. When we actually do press their centre-backs, they don't look No, not at all. Don't look comp competent at all, do they? Luke can't press too much because he never, he never knows he's got the backup behind him. That's the yeah. problem. Mate. There you go. Getting the ball back again. Pedro to Pico. Keep it moving. We've got numbers here. 
Sack is very spare on the left if you can find him, PK. Play it now, play it now. There it is, first time shot. It's a bit on his left foot, plays it. Forces another save. It's another keeper. really good save, but I'll tell you what, PK, great vision to spot that pass in Sack in the first place and uh, pick him out. I think it just sent him a little bit too wide though, Sack. He wanted it on his right, but had to take it with his left and Rowley yet again in the way. Having a very good game, the goalkeeper. Closing stage of the first half. Been a very solid professional first half from the tags. But we are only one goal in the lead. Anything can happen. This corner, last delivery was really good. There's the ball. Matty Waldridge, well done. Man on the edge, though. It's a free hit. Tomo heads it, still alive in the box. Max gets ahead to it. Can we get rid? Shrees with the save for the cameras, but we don't mind it. Hey, don't mind it at all. He had to save it and palm it away out of danger. And for now, anyway, at least it is behind. Really good stop from the keeper. Their corners are causing us problems. We've headed the last few away, but they come right in that danger area. Here it comes again. Another good ball, back post this time. Headers one, Strees catches it, but they're, I think that's their best threat, corners. We need to stop them having too many. Two minutes injury time to be played. Looks like we're just trying to get to half time with a 1 0 lead here for the tags. We'd love back-to-back -back clean sheets. Wouldn't that be nice? Oh, Harry's made a mistake. Have I cursed it there? PK got stuck in, luckily. Round the corner. Go big. Good boy. That's a great pass, you know. Pedro's going to get there. Keeper's off his line. Does he shoot? He cuts back on the left foot. Looks for Luke in the box. Luke takes a touch. What oh. a finish that is. That is upper Benjamins all the way to the bank. It's 2-0 to the tags. And we nearly conceded at one end and turned it into a beautiful goal. Hey, that is unbelievable break in football. Pedro Carvalho with a perfect pick out there for Luke. He took, a took his time, didn't panic, finishes in the top corner, upper echelon, and Pico the antics there. I think that he got a little bit of a kick actually off the ball from the forward, uh, then sat on him. You're and, forgetting uh, a crucial involvement, which was the second pre-assist of the game for Sam Cornish. Under pressure, again. looked like he was in trouble. Instead, he picks out an absolute Hail Mary quarterback oh. pass to Pedro, which put the keeper in no man's land. Pedro did amazing to pick out Luke. I thought when Luke took that touch, he might have killed himself a little bit there, but he didn't because he opened up what was an absolute world-class finish that no keeper in world yeah, football phenomenal. saves. So there's another goal for another Luke. Another one for the power. But, but Cornish is orchestrating the game. Rain is really coming down here. Has done most of the half. Hashtag fans still braving it on the terrace, but their spirits remain dry. And there is the half-time whistle. Brilliant end to the half. Brilliant half in general, actually. Tags playing some lovely stuff. 2-0 up at the break. Let's see what Devs thinks. You've been really good. <coughs> very, very good. Um, cut them to shreds when we've got it right. All right if I'm going to be critical, it's just a bit of decision-making at times up and around in the areas because I think we should have more than two. The midfield, there's rotate, rotation, the four sits deep, um, the 10 and the 17, they're the ones that kind of will rotate about. But their movement is largely side to side off of us. It's not dragging us that way. And that's where we've got to be really mindful of seeing that. You need to get in a little bit earlier at times. Too much jogging back. I need a bit more energy from you going the other side of the ball. But the big thing is you just organise. Get the, the two mids, deeper midfielders on a bit of string. Make sure the line's blocked and make sure whoever from them is in the 10 is picked up. But other than that, it's been really good. Um, I expect you to come out of this with a clean sheet. That's my only request for the rest of the night. Here we go then, second half is underway. More of the same, please, Tags. That was lovely in the first half. Some liquid football on display. <laughs> so good. Well on sack. Here we go. Sack on the ball. He's, he's the furthest forward man here. Luke's now just making a bit of a move, but maybe needed a further forward run, or he could go his, on his own. Finds Pedro. Can Pedro get the shot off? He wants to get it on the left foot. Oh. Was there a touch there from the keeper? No, goal, uh, goal kick. Thinking Pedro has done so well to get a shooting opportunity there. I've got no problem with him at all shifting it onto the left because I know he can hit it. If he finds a target, that's in. 
still on the ball here with Quachi Cray. That should be dealt with. Anderson ooh, gets away with it. Lovely footwork in the end from Tomo. PK to Sack. Fancies it tonight. I'll tell you what, he fancies it. He's in the box. Can he get a shot off? He does! Just can't find the target. Yeah, really, really nice wing play again from Sack. He's so dangerous with the ball at his feet, driving into the box. No one wants to touch him or get near him. Cornish. Hashtag enjoying themselves now here. Tell you this, PK is on banter this evening. Yeah, I mean, the gloves say it all. Yeah. Go on. Hey, have hit one. Oh, maybe now. Yeah, too much. Yeah, just, uh, I don't mind the effort, don't mind the intent. But yeah, just I don't think he needed that second touch there before he hit it. Maybe a good game time to inject some subs in, just to get some energy. Go on, PK. Good you, strong. Pedro takes it away. Sent it back out of position here. Still Pedro with the fast feet. He's having one. Gets it over the sack. In the box now, where you want him to be. Can he get the shot off? He does. Deflected by Quachi. Waldridge going to hunt this down. Force Hallard back. That'll be enough. Just force him back. Oh, that'll do. He's done well to keep done that really on. well. But Tomo can pick it up. Finds PK. Got a bit of space. Nathan Smith wants it. He's seen the run. Oh, he's done so well to win it as the keeper comes. But he can't direct it goalwards. And we've tried it a few times. I think in another world, PK could be a very effective right back. Um, number 10 coming through the middle here for Cray. Harry's kind of used his, his body to tackle him there. Um, could be a yellow. Free kick here. They had one in the first half. It did trouble us. Hit the woodwork, if I remember correctly. This one, though, has hit the wall. Yeah, I'd say woodwork as well, to be fair. Hasem said. Corner. Sack. It's there. Oh, a keeper flaps it. It gets the hand to it. Nathan Smith lays it back to Hasem. Fakes the shot. Pedro! That could have been goal bound. Yeah, it's a really important block. Danger not averted here. And that is a sumptuous pass from Sam Cornish. Sack for Luke. Oh, it's Tomo, oh. actually. Tomo with a little flick on. Roof of the net. Almost in the goals. Very, very smart, intelligent header there from Tomo Anderson. Almost finding the back of the net there and a third of the tags were still pushing and still more than in control of this game. It's not just that we win on 4G, we play well on 4G. Cornish. I don't think he's put a foot wrong tonight, Sam Cornish. No. No foul, no? What? That way, huh? Uh, it, it can't. It's either one or, or knee. It's, it's either none or both. But yeah, bizarre. <laughs> Whipped in. Flicked on. Oh, chance in the box. Not going to miss that. The clean sheet is gone. It's Bonner that scored it. It's the man who got sent off against us earlier in the season. Hopefully, that's not a glimmer of hope for Cray, Eddie. I'm hoping it, it, the game's still done. Yeah, it's frustrating because... It's probably another game that could have been beyond them had we have taken our chances or created a little bit more clear cut. Uh, we've been well in control of this game and on top for some time now and it's almost slowed the game. That goal now gives them a glimmer of hope. A nice finish to be fair to him and a yeah, nice yeah. flick on but it's really frustrating to watch. It's always been hard for Street to save that one but it's 2-1. It doesn't feel like it's 2-1. We were playing kind of like we were 3-0 up which I was sort of saying I'd like to see the third goal before we take the foot off the gas. I think maybe we do need to inject some subs into the game now just to give us a bit of a new lease of life because 2-1 worries me big time. We've got to win this game. It's been so one way. Come in, AT. Get yourself another goal, my son. Make it three in a week. That'd be lovely. Snap that wrist. He's gone past Richo now. He's just looking for George Smith now and he's got him in his... Uh... That's what he said at the start of this season, to be fair. That's what he wanted. Yeah. Uh-oh. Uh-oh. Don't let him shoot. Crikey, son. This is getting a bit close to my liking now. I honestly think bringing someone like Amisha on or Camillo, putting them in the 10, telling them to attack might be the best form of defence here to get up him a little bit. Might not need it as Sack comes forward. Oh, there's a switch on for Pedro, but it would have taken a lot. He doesn't need to, though. He just keeps going, Sack. This is what he does. He's got the ice skates on. Oh, That's no ball there whatsoever. Nasty tackle as well yeah. from the substitute. Alfie. Rightful booking. Is it Alfie Evans, is it? Yeah. Naughty. Sack's had a few on him tonight as well. He's about to get subbed off, to be fair. He's won us a free kick in a good area. Let's hope he's not injured. Toby's on. PK dinking it in. Back post. Tomo's there. Straight That's to the keeper. That's a training ground routine, that one. Unbelievable scenes. Oh, got to get there, Matty. Got to get there. This lad's chasing it down. He ain't slow. 
got to get rid in those positions. How long have we got left? Three minutes. Striz sends it high towards Toby. Challenges well against Hallard. Got a hand all over him. Ref. Right? Ref. I want to see Toby running at Hallard. Sammy Cornish once again picking the pocket of Tom Beer in the middle there. Good chance here, Sven. Come on, boys. Cornish not really put a foot wrong tonight. Looks in the middle for Toby. Oh, wow. You put your house on Toby scoring a goal there off the bench, wouldn't you? Smith. Cornhill almost lifting it over to Pedro's on the left-hand side. Now Toby's come on. AT using his body, getting it to PK. PK's got Toby to his right. Can he get a shot off those? Thinking about it. And he would have hit better shots than that. Shame though. Opened up nicely for him. Next time the ball goes out, PK's going to go off for Camillo. We're trying to make the change there as well. He's just let the play go. Well, I think the keeper, the keeper just took it too quick, really. The referee knew we had a change, though. Yeah, the ref doesn't have to blow his, has to blow his whistle because the ref doesn't have to blow it for a goal oh, kick, go. does he? Max, chance here. This three on three. Unleash AT. Stay on side. Cornell on his birthday. To PK. He's about to get subbed off. Goes to Pedro at the back post. There it is. Oh. There it is. Game over. Three points guaranteed. PK with the assist. Pedro with the goal. Yeah, I'll tell you what, that is a phenomenal finish as well from Pedro. Very, very intelligent play there. To just wait for the goalkeeper to go to ground and dink it over him. And PK, loving the celebrations and the loudness of the hashtag fans. <laughs> He's just a, a, an odd character, shall we say. Lovely stuff, <laughs> lovely finish. And that is the icing on the cake, but it did look nervy for a little bit too long for my liking, Spen. I mean, it's no less than we deserve. We've, we've not been amazing second half, but we definitely deserve to win the match. And we'll take the three points back to Essex with us. PK's last involvement as well. Unselfish not to go for goal there. Pick out the perfect pass to Pedro. And it's a goal and assist for Pedro today. Every goal has been pre-assisted by a member of the cornfield. Two for Cornish, one for Cornhill. Ref's not given a foul there. Cray won't be happy. Cornish looks to unleash AT. Up against Bonner here. Bonner deals with it. AT's not giving up on it. Look for Toby. Onside. Touch and finish, Toby. Oh, he's still there. He's still there. Left foot. He's got AT with him. Oh, wow. Not the most fluid of attacking play there. And the two of them do link up really well usually. But I just don't think the spin on the ball, either occasion, sat for him right. Just frustrating. They'll both be kicking themselves with that, the way that chance has ended up. Yeah, serious gaps emerging in the Cray defence now. Definitely had chances to score more tonight, but still a very good away three points, the tags. Go on, Camillo. Nick it. Good strength from Jaha. Oh, hello. It's turned up. Spoke too soon, I think, Spent. <laughs> and there's the final whistle. And it's a professional job in the end. Shame not to get back-to-back -back clean sheets, but it is quite a few wins in a row now for the Tags. Momentum, we knew this part of the fixture list, no disrespect to our opponents, was going to be, uh, shall we say, more, more opportunities to score goals. But we have taken those opportunities, Eddie. And pretty good, pretty good night. Yeah, wandering through the defence on three occasions this evening. You love to see it. Some very fluid movement and uh, lovely moves to uh, round off the three points. Who's your UFL player of the match, Eddie? It's a pretty easy one for me this evening. Sammy Cornish. Unlucky not to get it on Monday, I'd say. But tonight definitely gets my vote. Phenomenal footballer. He really is. And a delight to watch when he's playing at the level he is right now. Take a look at the league table. Another win. We don't move anywhere, even though it's a Friday night game and no one else played. But we are sort of getting closer to cementing a spot in that top 10. That's what we're aiming for now. And it is doable if we keep winning our games, even though we've played a few more than some of the teams around us. Head over to the Extra Channel to see the post-match reaction and the interview with our player of the match, Sam Cornish. And until next time, up the tags. Don't forget, two big cup finals to come. More trophies pending, hopefully. See you soon.